And we are live. Well, you know, hello. Good afternoon, social media family. You know, Facebook, uh, you know, Instagram, YouTube. Listen, Ladette, love with Ladette listeners, um, love in the box recipients, friends, families, associates, my new followers. Listen. A unique heart is coming to you today with a little love conversations. You know, normally I do my heart to heart talk on Tuesdays, but you know, when you're dealing with a boss babe, you got to get with the boss babe when the boss babe has availability. So we shifted up today and I decided to have this conversation on a Friday. You know, sometimes you need a little love going into the weekend. You know, you know, you, you just need to know that the weekend is going to be all right and that it's going to be filled with favor. So I decided to name today all things love favor friday so that's what it's gonna be that's what it's gonna be okay so let me get right into this conversation i know everybody time is valuable i love to appreciate your time i love when you tune in i love when um you can get something valuable from these love conversations because that's all they are is general uh, genuine conversations that i like to have with my favorite people that god is just um um uh, uniting me with and just blessing, blessing the, the, the relationship. You know, it's not a one-on-one -on -one relationship. It's a genuine, beneficial, mutual relationship. And that's all I ask God for this season. And, and those are the type of relationships that I am receiving. So let me get right into today's um, guest. Her name is Day Edwards. And let me give you a little bio behind Day. She is the bio 2024 Boss Babes. Okay. She is the author. She is the spearheaded person who God told her what to do. And she said yes and developed this creative idea in her mind and asked God for help. And I'm going to let her tell you the rest of the story, you know, but I'm just telling you who she is. She is the one that is the one who put it out there for us to receive. And we received it. And We'll talk about more about that later, but let me give her a little background of her bio. Day Edwards, she's a social entrepreneur and a second generational church planter who loves helping churches earn more so they can do more. Day is the founder of Boss Babes Who Pray, the Miss CEO pageant, yes, and notably church space a marketplace that connects vacant church spaces with business owners, event professionals, and church plant seeking spaces and affordable at affordable rate. Aside from being a disruptor in the faith teaching industry, yes, Day is also a mother and a wife and a servant at heart. That's why we connected right there, right there. Ah. Day has been featured on CBN News, The 700 Club, The ABC News, Great Day Houston, and The Houston Chronicle newspaper. As a business owner and coach Day, uh, as a business owner and coach, Day finds true joy in empowering women to take dominion in the marketplace. That is so true. Right. Positioning herself as a disrupt her in both the tech and faith-based community has truly marked Day Edwards as the trailblazing entrepreneur to watch. All of that is true. You know, sometimes you can read bios and you'd be like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that mm -hmm. right there was on the money. That was oh, on the money. Goodness. Okay. So oh, let me yeah. tell y'all uh, a little bit of how I met Day. Okay. Um, so I had been seeing her a little bit, you know, kind of um, around some of the, the, the friends that, that I was um, friends with, like on Facebook or whatever. And I was like, man, I kind of like her, you know, and I was like, I like her spirit. That was the first thing I caught, you know, like I like her spirit. And I was like, OK, you know, didn't think much of it. I see a post, you know, every now and then they click like whatever. She do some congratulations. Hey, I'm happy for you, blah, blah, blah. And then when she posted about the boss uh, the prayer, the uh, project for the boss babes who pray. I said, hmm. I said, okay. I said, that's interesting. I said, I, I kind of, I think I'm interested in it, but didn't pay it no mind. You know how you see something on social media, you you look at it, you you say, okay, I think I'm going to do this, blah, blah, blah. But you get distracted and sometimes don't even follow up on it. Well, <laughs> the Holy Spirit wouldn't have it. <laughs> He wasn't having it. He was like, uh, go to your computer right now. Um, send her an email. Uh, see if you'll be eligible. And in my mind, I'm like, God, 
this girl, she's known for this and that. I don't even know if I'm gonna make the cut. You know how you know how it's like um interviewing for something or auditioning for something. That's how it felt to me. You know, and I didn't have all these titles and this, and that, whatever. And I'm like, okay, well, God, I'm just following the Holy Spirit or put my name in the hat. I'm gonna let her know I'm interested and we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh <laughs> Yeah, it's a done deal. It's history, and and yeah. listen, listen to the Holy Spirit. Uh, we connected on this group, and I just have to oh, say, man. yes, you know, we released this awesome book. Oh yes, the it's prayer been for the boss babes, and it we released it last Saturday. And listen, yeah. we are best selling authors. We are number one in the nation in two categories, in Christian and devotionals. So the rest is history. The rest is history. So without further ado, um, I'm gonna let Day take the platform. It's all on her, but the Woo! other thing I would just ask Day to do is just share your experience with the listeners of maybe an encounter, an experience that you had with me or Love in the Box or Self Love Journal, what anything you want to share, and then from there, we just need to dive right on into your platform and you let the people know what's going on. Awesome. Well, first off, thank you for having me. I really truly am, I'm so honored to be here with you today. So, thank you. And I've enjoyed meeting you and yeah. uh, having you come alongside myself and the other co authors with publishing such an amazing assignment from God. Um, wow. I'm I'm still in awe yeah. of how well we did with the book. Um, that was all God. A lot of people often ask me, um, what strategy, what marketing? And to be honest, it's favorite. It's the favor of God. And what? Today is favorite Friday. Yeah. <laughs> well, favorite Friday with you today talking about his love, talking about his favor, because I know it's with nothing. We couldn't do any of this without him. Um, when I originally had the idea for the book, so backstory, you know, I do, I have my business church space. Um, I have the pageant system that I own. And then I also, um, I still have a PR firm that's automated that kind of just sends people lists and teachings and all of that good stuff. Um, so I have a, my hands in a lot of different things. And when he told me to publish a book in 2020, I was like, oh my goodness, that's a lot to do. Um, but he told me I did not have to do it alone. And I just want to encourage any entrepreneurs watching, especially if you're a creative like me, oftentimes the Holy Spirit will begin to download to us many ideas and visions from a heavenly place that he wants us to bring down here on earth. Don't get discouraged and get overwhelmed by thinking that you have to create all of those things by yourself. No, not at all. God will send people. If you just put it out on the earth from heaven, God will send forth the people. And that's exactly what happened. Um, he told me to publish a devotional and I said, God, I can't do it by myself. And he said, of course not. And I put out the post and I met 28 other, 27 other amazing boss babes, just like yourself. Yes. Yeah. Who helped me uh, co-publish -pub, co and co-author this. Um, so I am forever grateful to have that journey with you guys. This has all been God. I mean, even the connections made, the sisterhoods that have been formed and linked. Um, it's almost like God birthed identity within this group of women. Um, so you guys hold a special part in my heart. And not just that. Hey, son, what is son doing? Hi, then. I've excuse me, y'all. This don't never happen to me. I was so excited to get on here with Day. I done forgot to get my charger. We are not gonna lose this conversation. Hold oh, on, y'all. Okay, no, you can start. What happened to me? I thought your son was in the video. I was gonna say, hey, welcome back. And I was trying to get his attention so that I wouldn't come off. Oh, I see. Okay. But it's don't okay. We're not losing this conversation. I, I, this don't never happen to me, but I was so excited. Oh, Miss Benita. So excited. I forgot to put my charger in on, on the on the uh, laptop, but that's okay. We good. We good. Go yeah. ahead. Um, so yeah, I put it out there and um you guys have helped me become help. Well, honestly, whenever I did the book, God said this isn't even about you. He yeah. said that this book is going to be about the women who co-author the book. He said, make this an, a journey, make this a um, experience for them. So we did the photo shoot, we did the video shoot. Uh, we have a few more surprises that I have not announced because I just love to surprise you guys. 
um, that will be coming out later next week that I'm super excited about. Um, I mean, it's really truly been a testament of God's faithfulness that whenever he gives you something, and it's almost like the story where I believe it was Peter who was walking. Um, was it Peter? I believe it was Peter who was walking on water. Yes. Um, and if we just begin to, man, oftentimes as entrepreneurs, especially when we're launching something, yeah. It can feel like we have so many cards up in the air. That's what God was showing me. Because right now I'm in the middle of a launch from my son. My son and me are um, launching a business, a brand, which I'm so excited about. <laughs> and he got accepted to a really cool program um, recently. So I had to scurry yesterday and get all this stuff together for his new business and this new opportunity that presented itself. And this morning when I was coming to God, I just showed, he showed me exactly how I felt. I told him how I felt. I said, God, it's a lot. And he showed me me throwing cards up in the air. And um, I took that revelation as whenever we have so many things up in the air and we're just waiting for them to land. And he, he just showed me that everything's going to land in place perfectly and beautifully because he's that type of father, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I mean, that's it. That's exactly how it felt with the book when we were launching it. Yes. It was like, okay, we published now what? And it, it did very well. It's still doing well. Yes. Woo! The life that it's affecting, the testimonies, even the, the, the you guys who are selling the book, I'm looking at the number of book sales and I'm like, this is a legit stream of income that has been created for so many boss babes across the nation. Right. So I'm grateful for that. God is so good. And I just can't wait to see what he does with the book and with the platform for boss babes who pray. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. And listen, young lady, you're acting like... Um you're acting like uh, the project Boss Babes in your new project with Lolo. You're acting like that's the only thing you got going on. I need you to tell the people about Church Space. Oh, you my goodness. Yes. About Church Space? <laughs> yes. Yeah, church Space is doing well, even we, though we're in a pandemic. For those of you, um, give me one moment. For those of you who do not know about church space. We are the Airbnb for churches. We help churches rent out their underutilized space. We've won some national competitions, um, most notably the uh, business pitch competition at the Essence Festival last year, the very last Essence Festival they ever had because they didn't have one this year because of COVID. Uh, we took home first place in that pitch competition. We won the city of Houston liftoff business plan competition and then the Texas Black Expo uh, 2019 19 uh, business pitch competition. Um, so church space is doing well. Although a lot of our churches are closed, we tapped into other markets. We launched church space TV, which is a streaming platform for churches to stream on to Amazon and Apple TV as well. But we're also opening that up to different uh, media personalities to host their own faith-based segment as well. Um, we're still renting out churches. We still have churches. We have one church here in Houston. Shout out to Pastor Andre. Yeah. Uh, they're earning over, close to 90000 uh, per year for renting through church space. So we're still here helping churches earn more so that they can do more. Yeah. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. That is awesome. That is awesome. You know, um, from time to time, you know, people always say, well, um, who is they? Um, <laughs> yeah, it was like, who is she? I was like, listen, I just need you to get on there and just follow her, and then you'll figure out who she is. I mean, her personality speaks for itself. You know, we got on the what I the one thing I love about you, Day, is when we um when we when we got on the project, and you know, when you had to bring us in, and like we have our little meetings and all of that in the private group. You would say you would just like if we had a meeting at seven or, or eight in the morning, you just pop up. <laughs> You just pop up. <laughs> okay, y'all, you could tell you done popped up. You you know, you might have fed a low, uh, you know, a crap or something. Come on, son, bro. Mama got to do this, you know. <laughs> and you can hear him saying, where's my milk in the background and all that for his but, yeah. but what I'm saying is you taught us in that private space how to just pick up the pieces and roll with it. Like roll with it. Oh, so plan like it, it's not all about getting up, got to put on all the makeup and all of that and mm -hmm. showing up cute and got to yeah. look the part. Yeah. I'm talking in the private spaces, you know, in the pri yeah. you know, like this was your group. This was your group. 
-hmm. You knew we were developing this this book. You knew um, you know, we were putting into it. And let me just tell y'all, God, I don't know why Day is being so bashful and, and shy on here. I'm going to go and just, I'm going to go look at you talking about who me. I'm going to tell y'all, let me tell y'all. So in some of these private meetings, we were, she she brought a spirit oh. people to pray over us. Her oh. husband, and oh my God, we're not going to even talk about her. Oh my God, her husband. Oh. Woo, when I tell you he is a powerful praying man of God. Yeah. Before I even knew he was her husband, when she would share his um post to us, him praying, I was like, man, that man is anointed. You know, I didn't even know that this was your husband. I didn't even know that. But I connected with him and I was like, oh, this man is powerful. You know, yes. and like the way how he just preaches and just, I mean, he just so in the spirit, like you can see it and you can feel it. And so then later I find out, well, this is my husband. I say, well, yeah. I say, okay, well, that would explain everything. You know? yeah. <laughs> that would explain why they spirits connected. But anyway, mm -hmm. just kind of through the journey, y'all, just 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 a few little tabbit, little little nuggets I want to drop with y'all. She yeah. showed up. She can't she showed up as herself. She came, she came. If we had a meeting at eight and she said, We're gonna fast this. I mean, we had a meeting at 7 a.m. or 8 in the morning, and she says, We're gonna fast this week. That's what we did. You know, and what I like about her is everything she said she was going to do, like as far as fasting and bringing in people to spiritually feed us, all of those things, she did it. So these were little things that we did during the project, you know, and when we fasted, she she just got up. She just did it. You know, like, how can I say it? When you get up just doing it, then you know that it's genuinely divine. It wasn't no set agenda, no, you know what I mean? Like it was just done in the spirit. And to be blessed yeah. like that, like that's why I really truly believe that we did so well because everything was authentically, genuinely done and downloaded straight from the Holy Spirit. Amen. I, I agree. You yeah. have mine here in Lolo. Baby, mommy's on the video, so one moment. Um, I, I agree. Um, we, we come as we are, right? We come yeah. as we are and the Holy Spirit use us. The Holy Spirit uses us just as we are. Um, I really enjoyed the prayer and the fasting with the group. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um, something that my husband, speaking of my husband really taught me, you know, he's from Africa. Um, he lives in Ghana. Um, and they are, Christians, but they're they're the way they pray. They're very fervent in the way they pr they pray. Yes, the way they speak the word. Um, and so, I learned how to build things in the spirit before we birth them here on earth. So that week of fasting and that yeah. week of of designing in the spirit before we put it out here on earth was yeah. so beautiful. And the way. Yeah. Spirit, um, you know, begin to release messages from God. Um, I believe it was day four on Thursday where he said, I've gone before you. And he really went before us. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. He went before us. Um, so I just thank God. And fasting, honestly, I'm I I fasted so much in 2019 uh, for a lot of the things that are happening now in 2020, which I'm like, I need to get back into that. Mm -hmm. um, but it really changed my posture and my heart to be more in an intimate place with, with God, more in, in a, a place out of relation where I'm not acting out of right, wrong and trying to get things right, but just trying to understand his heart, understand his grace, understand his mercy, understand how he loves me as a daughter. And he mm -hmm. understands that I'm human and mm -hmm. that I'm, I'm human. I'm going to have these human experiences, but my heart is to seek those godly encounters and to spend time with him. So that was another reason why we did the coachings with the writings, because I didn't want this to come across as a, as a, yes, or yes. look at me, but look at the heart of our father. Look what he was able to bring us through as businesswomen in the marketplace, right? I wanted to have a fragrance of his love. So whoever reads it, they'll be, they'll have that fragrance of the Holy Spirit that lingers around them, um, that gives them hope, courage, and motivation, something that sticks into the heart of their walls, right? To the walls of their heart. Love, doctor. <laughs> See, that's why we connected. And I told Day, I said, listen, 
this boss babe project i said i'm gonna connect the two with love in the box i said they are going with love in the box when when the oh my goodness that <laughs> love in the box is good you guys miss manita <laughs> sent me one you sent me one before we even started the project right did yes. i get it yes 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 yes, yes. Oh, it has blessed me so much. It's it's a lot of love in that box. Like I still find myself going through it. Like oh my goodness! Like every time I go through it, I'm like, there's something new. The love journal, the pen, the necklace. Okay, baby. Um, the necklace, just the just everything in it. You can tell that you strategically. I talked this morning in another group mm -hmm. about having activation things in my home. Um, to where I can look at a certain paint, painting that I have. God told me to get my home in order in a place to where um, it's not like, oh, that's cute. You yeah. know, oh, that's nice. But even though I have a very nice place, but it's more, I look at pieces and my heart is postured again, right? So yeah. I have pieces that remind me of his love. I have um, decor that reminds me of his grace. I have pillows that say grace is here. It reminds me. So I'm I'm surrounded. You're surrounded by it. I mean, even though I know heaven ain't nothing like this, but I, I try to create those places that activate that heavenly seated place in which we are. We're dual citizens. We're seated in heaven and we're here on earth. Right. Yeah. So I always try to keep that posture by having little little pieces around my house that remind me of his goodness. And it goes a little step further. I mean, some pieces I get supernaturally. Like, how did I get this? It yeah. like stories like that that I always look at and I'm like, God, <laughs> it makes me back to that place. So that's what your box does for me. It has so many really good pieces in it that makes me think, you know what? For someone to put this together, you have such a love for people. You have such a love for people to to desire love. And yeah. so that, that says a lot about you. Hallelujah. And God honors love. Hallelujah. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. So I pray that God continues to shower you with his love because it's one thing to, to give from a place of giving, but when you can give from a place of overflow. So I pray that God begins to overflow you with his love because you don't want to just keep giving out your love. Because if, you know, what? imagine, I remember God gave me a vision about a well and I got, I was like, he was like, yeah, this is your well. And I started to panic and I said, God, I don't know how much water I have in my well. He yeah. said, don't think about how much water you put in there. Think about how much water I put in there. Because if you think about how much water you put in your own well, you, you, you'll run dry instantly. So I believe that God is over, over pouring his love over you because you have so much love to give. And every box that you give out, hallelujah, I declare that I will be filled with the love of the Holy Spirit, his holiest spirit, hallelujah. And I just want to affirm that um, that God sees that and he honors love. And I just love the way that you're loving our people. Oh. Love your people. It's so beautiful. And the box is amazing. Um, I've learned through journaling how to have dialogue with God, right? It's one thing to journal and get all of our feelings out, which is what a lot of, um, you know, therapists will tell you, which is great, great, great. But how beautiful is it that we take it a step further and we begin to write these beautiful love letters to God and tell him our heart and we yeah. can be raw about it. And raw. he's still looking at us and say, you're still righteous. That's right. You're still worthy. That's You're still right. my daughter because he wants us to come to him and tell him the very raw truth of things. Oh, and your journal is an outlet for that. So thank you for that. Oh. I love you. I love you too. And listen, speaking on love and how I like to give love to people. So we have to let the listeners know um, because I was so inspired and blessed by this project uh sunday night we when i was sitting in the bathtub and he all god always gives me a revelation around water whether i'm soaking in the bathtub washing dishes outside in the backyard around the water just it's water is my something about the well i know what the connection is and that's another subject but for me it's definitely the water so i was sitting in the bathtub and i said and god said honor her is what he said. You know how he talks to you. He'll tell you one, two, three questions, whatever. He'll just, and you'd be like, okay. Like, I was okay with that. But my point was like, well, how do I do it with a person with a busy schedule? How do I do that? You know? <laughs> because 
because you, I, I was like, whatever date she available, that's what day is going to happen, you know? Yeah. So, a so, of loving on you, um, all of the boss, well, some of the boss babes are um, out of town, but they're still going to send their love to you that some things oh. are about. we have surprises for you. Oh, my goodness. So, Oh so my goodness. For all the listeners, we are um, taking her out today. Uh, it's a full day, full of day. It is called Day Edwards Day. And uh, anybody that knows how I put things together, it's not going to be regular. It's not going to be regular. It's going to be full of love. Uh, so, uh, yeah. So, it, you know, I, I just have to obey God. I just have yes. to. When he says, do something, just do it. Even uh. like. Hey, when I jumped on the, the live, I, I, I was so freaking tired. I was getting ready to shut it down. And he said, no, you know, how he tell you, no, like you think you don't do what you are supposed to do. And then you come back and he says, no, do it this way. Cause you, you know, you think you're running stuff and whatever, but when you constant um, communication with him, he goes like, mm -mm, that ain't what I told you to do. So he was like, no, turn around and go get back on the live and tell the people to be obedient, that obedience is better than sacrifice. You know, be obedient. You can sacrifice and it's one thing, but be obedient to what he tells you because he has a reason behind it. It's like, it's something about when you be obedient, just like you, you're obedient with the project, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. it's about when you be obedient, it, it's like it, um, it's the catalyst to breaking a miracle or a request or a prayer or something that you've been asking God for. And he just want to see if you're going to be obedient. And then when he sees you're obedient, then he opens up the windows of heavens and the floodgates. That's where that water come from and that well you mm -hmm. see, because you've been obedient. You know what I mean? Like, he, and, and God is a, he's a father that his word should not lie and that it should not return void. So when he shows you a vision, when he shows you a vision and tell you what to do, you just do it. You don't know what, how, what, what people of influence is going to be there to help you. You don't know who's watching you. You don't know any of this. So when he tells you to be obedient, just do it. Don't, you know, it's like, don't, uh, don't hesitate. Just do it. And so he, I came and I got on the live yesterday. I don't know if anybody got a chance to see the video. I get inboxes and text messages telling me I'm so glad you got back on there, that you encouraged me to push through on what I was going through. I'm so glad you got back on there. So Praise God. obedience is just beautiful. It is. Yeah, it is. It is. It yeah. is. Um, I often tell a lot of uh, the people that I coach in regard to their business, a lot of them, <laughs> as my sis Victoria would say, they sit on their hands. They're, you're sitting on your hands. You're not moving. Um, in especially with those of us who God um, journeys with us in the marketplace, right? When we move, he moves. He's like, mm -hmm. okay. Um, he just needs a vessel to create a product, to put it in the marketplace. And then once he does that, he'll begin to do a thing, right? Um, so yeah, we, once we walk in that obedience, once we get that unction from him and we go according to him, but we don't stop, you know, we don't just take the one idea and then just run off with it, but right. we stay in constant communication constant with communication. About what we're doing, um, he'll begin to blow on the thing. And it's so beautiful. Favor in the marketplace has been my testimony. Yeah. Yes. yes. And he will blow on it and he will blow your mind just as yeah. he <laughs> he will blow your mind. Yes, he will. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, okay. So, you know, I, I try to make the conversation short and sweet and, but sometimes, you know, when, when you get into the conversation, if it's good, it just, you know, it just lasts and it just flows. My today, my main of uh, main objective was just to love on you because you can share your, um, platform, <laughs> let the people know what you do. So that if there's yeah. someone out there that's uh, a answer to your prayer, because you got prayers out there too. So if there's yeah. someone out there that is an answer to today's prayer that can take her to the next level, yeah. please reach out. And another thing, I always ask people on these type of conversations, share it, share it, share it, share it. Yeah. You don't know who you don't know who can listen and who can bless you. But when yeah. you're in your own mind and oh, you know, they just talked about this, that oh, I ain't sharing nothing. OK, hey, yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, you know, sometimes you block your own blessings. You know, yeah. sometimes you do. You know, so all I'm saying is if there's someone out there that's listening to this conversation 
And if you're just um, tuning in, um, Day is the author and she is the one who spearheaded um, the prayers for the boss babe. She is also the owner of Church Space. Um, if you need to go back and replay this video to hear what all she does, she is very passionate about entrepreneurs and pouring into women. If there's some way, some way that you can connect with Day, and you guys think that you can have a beneficial mutual business relationship or whatever it is, um, reach out to her. She's a good person to do business with. But yeah. also, if there's a way you can help her, let it be. Let let the let the relationship be mutual. Um, and beneficial and mutual and God filled because listen, this woman is full of God. You ain't finna pull no <laughs> reindeer games and all that over. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She's filled with the Holy Spirit. So you got when you come, when you, come you gotta come correct. And I'm just saying that out of love. I'm just saying that out of love, you know. Um, but um, Day, can you please put all your social media platforms out there and how they can get in touch with you? Um, on Instagram, what is my Instagram? <laughs> Instagram? Oh, well, for church space, you can just find it under church underscore space. On Facebook, it's going to be church space Inc. I N C. And then for my personal, it's going to be day underscore Edwards underscore. And on Facebook as well, just day Edwards, D A Y. Thank you so much, Miss Benita. I have enjoyed this and I love you. I love the things that you are building. I can't wait to continue to build with you. Like, I am so excited about what God has been showing me about Love in a Box. And whew, he doesn't talk to me about every business. He does not, but I'm excited. I'm so but, excited. And, I, and listen, I'm grateful and I receive because yeah. <clears throat> I know that God is love. <clears throat> so, you know, he's He's well pleased with love in the box. He's well pleased with you. So that's how I know that that's why the connection is genuinely connected and divine because it's through his love, you know. And so I just, you know, I, I'm just grateful and thankful and cannot wait until Sunday to love on you too. Oh my goodness. To love on you. Oh my God. I can't wait. I can't wait. Yes. Um, but is there anything else that you want to share with the, uh, like any last minute, like word of motivation, uh, just last minute thought, anything you want to share with the people before we exit off of here on this favor field no. Friday? <laughs> God, the center of all things, let God be the one that leads, drives, and pushes you. And yeah, He's the center, center of all things. So, yeah, I agree. I agree. And listen, that comes straight from her heart and straight from a unique heart. That's why we're so connected because the love comes straight from my heart. So, mm -hmm. until next time, uh, Facebook friends, social media listeners, um, love of the debt listeners. May God continue to keep you and order your footsteps. The thing that he's been on me about the most this week is just saying obedience. Obedience Amen. is better than sacrifice. Just whenever he tells you to do it, just do it. Don't second ch chance it. He has tested me about two, three times this week on being obedient. And when I tell you every time I was with one of my, uh, one of my uh, close friends this week and God told me to be obedient and I did it. And I tell you, when I tell you the look on their face, you know what I mean? So what I'm saying is just be obedient. That's all I can say. You know, I, I don't know what his word to be for me for next week to share with you. But for this week, that's what it is. I think he's really using me um, to communicate to me, to encourage you. In other words, like do not let somebody tell you what you can't do. Do not think that yeah. you're not worthy of whatever that dream is or whatever that next level that you're trying to go to rebuke all of those thoughts get cast those thoughts out because as long as you keep those thoughts in your head and your mind you never will make the next step and like they said the change comes when when you make the step he want to know if you're gonna make the first step and that's in obedience is what that is and then after you make the first step he'll make the second because that's all we did that's all of us boss babes that's what we did we just said okay we'll agree to the project we didn't know what he was gonna do to it but hey he showed up and showed out <laughs> Amen. That is it for this Friday. I'm so glad I got to bring my beautiful, you know, you know, I just, I got to bring my beautiful sister on. I know God is going to do some amazing things with, I like, I know it. I see it. I feel it. Like he, we're getting ready to make an impact and listen, a global unmatched 
Hallelujah. Global unmatched impact on the world. I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, you guys, that is it for today. We are signing off with love. Day, you stay right there and I'm going to sign off. Okay, okay. y'all. As usual, a heart love you and somebody loves you, baby. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.